Welcome to Mini Orange. In this video we will learn how to configure the Joomla custom API plugin. First log into your Joomla dashboard. Then click on System in the sidebar menu. Now click on Extensions. Here, click on the Browse for File button. In the open window, select the plugin zip file, then click on the Open button. Now click on the Start using Joomla custom API plugin button. You have successfully installed the Joomla custom API plugin. In the Account Setup tab log in using your account credentials and then verify your premium license. Then click on the Create Custom API tab. Now click on the Click Here button to create a new custom API. Enter the API name in the given field. Now select the API method from the drop-down menu. We are going to select the Get API here. Now select the table name on which you want to perform the data retrieve action. Then select the columns of the table from which you would like to retrieve data from the drop-down menu. Now enter conditions for the API based on your requirements. First choose a column on which you want to apply a condition. Then choose a condition. You can add more conditions but pressing the plus button. Then you can apply a filter to order the data. Here, we will apply a filter to order data by ID in an ascending order. Now click on the save button to create the custom API. Now let's see how we can use the created custom get API. Once you have created the get API, you will receive your custom API endpoint. You can copy the given URL to use the created get API and retrieve the data of users. You need to pass parameters present in the request format table in the form of query parameters of your request. The request format should look like the example shown here. Let's see how the custom get API we created functions. Open Postman and click on the plus icon. Then enter the custom get API endpoint URL in the given field. Make sure that get method is selected. Then pass ID as a query parameter. Now click on the send button. We received an API response in JSON format. Now let's see how we can create a custom post API. Go to the create custom API tab. Now click on the create API button. Then enter an API name in the given field. Now select post method from the drop down menu for the custom API. Then select the table name on which you want to enter new data. Then select the columns for which you are providing the data to add entry in the table. Now you can select the data format in which you want to send the data to the header. Then finally click on the Save button. You have successfully created a custom post API. You can add entry to the user group table with the created custom post API by using the given URL in your request. You should include the necessary values in the body of your request while passing parameters as given in the request format table. Open Postman and click the plus button. Select post method from the drop-down method. Enter the custom endpoint URL in the given field. Now enter the data parameters in the body of the request. Then finally click on the send button. You will see a message saying records have been created successfully. Let's see how we can create a custom API using the put method. Navigate again to the create custom API tab. Then click on the create API button. Now enter the API name in the given field. Then select put method from the drop-down menu. Now select the table name on which you want to enter new data. Then select the columns for which you want to update using the API call. Choose appropriate conditions according to your requirements or you can opt for no condition as well. Then click on the save button. Here we have the flexibility to pass the data either as query parameters or within the body of the request. Ensure that you pass the data using the format key as mentioned in request format table. Now let's see how the custom put API works. Go to the Postman dashboard. Then click on the plus button. Select put method from the drop down menu. Now enter the custom endpoint URL in the given bar. Then enter the query parameters. And then, enter the values for the query parameters. Now click on the send button. You will see a success message showing the records have been successfully updated. Let's see how to create a delete API. Go to the create custom API tab. Then click the create API button. Now enter the API name. Then select Delete API method from the drop-down menu. Now select the table name of which you want to delete the data. Then choose appropriate conditions according to your requirements. And then click on the Save button. You can utilize this API using the given URL on any platform based on your specific requirements. Ensure that you pass the data using the given format as shown in the example. Let's check how the custom Delete API works. Go to Postman and click on the plus button. Select Delete method from the drop-down menu. Then enter the custom endpoint URL in the given bar. Also enter the query parameter. 
Then enter the value for the query parameters. And then click on the send button. You will see a message showing that the record's been deleted successfully. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any queries contact us at joomlasupport at securify.com.